And then uh, now I'd like to move on to our next presenter, uh, Ms. Pauline and uh, Mr. Ratz. Would you please uh, introduce yourself and... Um, I'll present my screen here. So good morning to everyone. First of all, we'd really like to thank um, the organization for inviting us here. It's really an, it's um, a very good thing for us. It's an honor effort to be given this opportunity. So my name is Pauline May and Kamaling. And I am Abdurazak G. Marayi. And we are students from Philippine Science High School, San Gil Mindanao Campus. We are under Professor Ashwani Gupta's mentorship. And today we will be presenting a review on the renewable green energies in Northern Mindanao, Philippines. So first of all, what is what are energy sources? So energy sources are merely forms of energy that we use in order to do work and to primarily generate electricity. So electricity is very much needed here for technological advancements, um, developments, even in our daily lives. So this makes electricity important and um, one of the main drivers of economic growth, which consequently makes energy sources very important as well. So there are two types of energy sources, um, the renewables, which include wind, solar, and more, and the non-renewables, which includes coal and other fossil fuels. So here in the right side, we have a picture of the energy generation in the Philippines by source. And it is evident from this graph that the Philippines really utilizes um, non-renewable energy as an energy source the most. So non-renewables, the non-renewable energy sources works perfectly fine as an energy source, but it has its risk. So first of all, in the environment, it, its fossil fuel emissions may cause, I may release pollutants that can cause air, water, and land pollution. It also releases greenhouse gases that contribute to global warming, and it releases other chemicals that may cause acid rains. And it also has adverse effects to health, as it can cause heart attacks, strokes, um, respiratory diseases, and it may even cause premature deaths and other neurological defects on infants and babies. So we've mentioned before that there are two types of energy sources, so the renewables and the non-renewables. And as I've said before, the renewables have a the renewable energy sources has a lot, lots of risks, but in comparison to that, renewable energy source is not accessible, meaning it can renew themselves. It has less adverse effects on the environment and is relatively safer. And um, from our research, there are no recorded negative effects on human health. This makes renewable energy sources um, a really nice thing. And in fact, lots of scientists, people, um, climate activists have urged or recommended to shift to using renewable energy sources and for us to utilize this energy source more rather than non-renewable energy source. <clears throat> to fully carry out the use of renewable energy, in 2011, the Philippines enacted a program called National Renewable Energy Program in accordance with the Philippines Department of Energy. The program outlines the policy framework set, for, set forth in Republic Act 9513, an act that began in 2008 to promote the goal of implementing renewable energy across the country. The program is under the act aiming for 5.3 gigawatts of renewable and power capacity by 2030 and over 20 gigawatts by 2040. Next slide. 
although the program has accomplished significant improvement as of December 31, 2020, it is still in progress and is observed with numerous drawbacks in the plans. That is, coal remained the highest power share, having 50.6% of the share, comprising 2,041 megawatts. Since the program is still in progress, renewable share last power of 29.8%. In addition of those renewable power share, 83.9% is hydropower, ignoring the potential of other sources. Next slide. Hence, the study aims to review and compile the progress of the energy plan by the Philippines Department of Energy and to research on potential renewable energy sources, which are biomass, wind, geothermal, solar, and ocean across Region 10. Next slide. Materials and methodology. Materials are the online data regarding renewable energy. As shown in the diagram, the collection of this information is divided into two parts. Blues are the journals and articles, while yellows are the energy data. For collecting journals and articles, the, re the researchers aim to note what renewable energy has the potential to be implemented in Region 10. This is done by first, this is done by first consulting the result and methodology of the study if they relate to the study's objective. Then the study is reclaimed to be inputted into the result. On the, other, uh, on the other hand, the aim of collecting energy data is to determine the progress of the energy plan in region 10. That's why the researchers first divided this data into regions, compiled the data related to region 10 and input it to the result. So after we have carefully examined some of the researches and data that we have gathered, we, we compiled the five most commonly known renewable energy sources. And these energy sources are biomass, wind energy, geothermal energy, solar energy, and hydropower. So first we have biomass, which comes from um, living and non-living organisms. Here in Northern Mindanao, Philippines, um, uh, there are currently five biomass energy projects, all of which are located in Bukidnon. So this five energy projects is only a small amount considering the amount of potential the region has for further biomass energy projects. So in a study by Lakang et al. last 2018, it shows that Bukidnon has a lot of production in sugarcane and corn. Meanwhile, Misamis Oriental produces a lot of wood and coconut. So these four products uh, are known to be good biomass and rich sources, which consequently makes Bukidnon and Misamis Oriental uh, places with lots of potential for more biomass projects. Next, we have wind energy. And currently, there are no projects in the region which utilizes this source. However, the United States Department of Energy um, Nas National Renewable Energy Laboratory, they have a study that shows that Region 10 actually has the greatest potential for wind energy projects. Lastly, we have geothermal energy, um, which is energy that is generated from the heat produced in the Earth's core. And currently, there is only one geothermal energy project here in Misamis Oriental, but the Department of Energy in, here in our region, specifically the Comprehensive Resource Assessment of Philippines Low Enthalpy Geothermal Areas, has supported that there is a potential for geothermal energy projects in northern Mindanao. For solar and hydropower, the potential has been recognized, explaining why their power share is higher. Currently, there are three existing solar power plants in Region 10, namely Nisipalco, Kirahan, and Kibawi, totaling 24 megawatts of installed capacity. 
Also, DOE plan to install four more solar plants in on Bukidnon, one on Lanao del Norte, and 13 on the Samis Oriental. This total to approximately 345 megawatts of installed capacity. For hydropower, the available power plants contribute to 831.8 megawatts of installed energy capacity. In addition, DOE plan to install a total of 1,458.8 megawatts installed capacity of hydropower energy, specifically in Lanao del Norte, Bukidnon, Misamis Oriental, and Misamis Occidental. Next slide. With this result, it is observed that hydropower energy is the most invested renewable energy source in Region 10, with the potential of other renewable energy being ignored and unnoticed. With the help of this study, the reviewed studies imply that the Philippines should pursue exploring other sources. Note that this research is limited to testing the factors affecting the implementation. Next slide. Therefore, the study recommends that the authority investigate the advantages and disadvantages of implementing this renewable energy, considering factors such as the place, time, etc. Moreover, they should consider first their investments, plans, and projects that, that will be put out. Next slide. So in conclusion, um, energy sources are very important in our daily lives, and this makes it a very important thing for us to, for the us and the entire world to um, look on, uh, look into. Philippines primarily still relies on coal and non-renewables as an energy source, but these energy sources has many adverse effects to human health and the environment. And furthermore, coal is um, fossil fuels, not just coal actually, are not, not ex um, rather accessible. They're actually accessible. That means that if we keep on using them, they will eventually be depleted. Renewables, on the other hand, are not are not accessible and they are safer to use as well, which is why we should start considering shifting to this energy source. Um, from this from our research, we have gathered that there are renewable energy projects already being done in our region, but these are only limited to some sources, specifically um, solar and hydropower. However, from our findings, we have also seen that our region has a lot of potential for geothermal, biomass, and wind energy projects as well. Hence, we recommend that the government consider these energy sources as well, for they have a lot of potential. And we also suggest that the authorities uh, consider an investments, plans, and projects involving renewable energy. And for them, to look into these energy sources and for the Department of Energy specifically to start making more um, researches and studies involving this so that we may be able to identify other regions or areas as well which has a lot of potential. So here are the references of our presentation and that is all. Thank you so much for listening, and we are now ready to answer your questions. Let's give a big hand to our next pre uh, second presenter, uh, the team. Uh, sorry, the team uh, Pauli and uh, uh, Raz. And do you have any question to their project? It's quite interesting that they researched the 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 fact uh, the current status in their area. So it. Uh, it, it, it is a quite interesting result. So do you have any question to the presenters? 
um, then I have a question. If uh, the government give you the project to to start a new, you know a, some kind of renewable energy, uh, as you uh, pres as you a researcher, uh, which renewable energy that you introduce to us six you know renewable energy, which one would you choose to study further to recommend it to the government? Okay, so. First of all, if we were given that opportunity, it would really be um, a, a great opportunity for us to have now. But I also think one of the limitations, if we were ever to be given that opportunity, is that we, we really don't know the specifics, how it works, and how, it really, how we really should make these things. So of course, we should... Um, coordinate still with the government and ask for help to some people who know how to create this. Now, going back to the create um, to the question, uh, you asked uh, what we would consider making. And we have mentioned that there are three other sources that are being explored, which have a lot of potential, which is biomass, wind energy, and geothermal. And for me, Personally, I would love to explore either biomass and geothermal. The reason why I ruled out wind is because it has a lot of potential, but there's actually a statement from the Department of Energy that states that this specific um, wind, uh, the wind energy projects specifically costs a lot. And since our country doesn't have that much resources, it's very hard for us to do this so that that's why I ruled out wind and um, wind. And the reason why I would love to do biomass and geothermal is because they also have lots of potentials and they are easier to do than wind. Specifically biomass, if I were to choose between the two of them, I guess I'd pick um, biomass since there are two possible locations with potential in which we, can, we could make more energy projects, which is Bukidnon and Misamis Oriental. So that's why if given the opportunity, we do that. Thank you very much. How about you, Raz? What would you choose? I would actually choose geothermal because uh, I, I've, Research numerous sites for volcanoes, active volcanoes in northern Mindanao. And since the Philippines is a site for uh, many volcanoes, I think it would be a nice, nice research to 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 investigate on. Okay, thank you for the answers. Okay, and 